Hello, my Yankee friends. Hello, Heather. Hello, hello. I will try to mute myself if I start a coughing fit. I apologize. We hope you feel better soon, Heather. And hello to the other Heather. <laughs> the other Heather in chat was probably like, she said hello to me first. Hello, Heather S. and Karen and Barbara and all the other inky peeps who are watching and not talking yet. I have got so many things for you guys tonight. So I've got some Timu stuff I bought, crafty stuff. I also have, I want you guys to, to comment right now and I'll ask again, but I have some non-crafty things I bought off of Timu and I never show you guys those, but I have them in a pile. So just do yes, 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 or no, 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 if you want to see them or not see them. And my Heather will keep a tally of whether you want to see the non-crafty things I bought. But um, a few quick things here. I've got some notes. Inky Besties. Hello, Judy Davidson. Inky Besties. Um, on September 20th at 5 p.m., one hour before the <clears throat> Mixed Media Night, I'm going to jump into the Inky Bestie space to chat with you guys for some housekeeping. What that means is anybody who's struggling to understand the group, I will I will share my screen and go through the group and help you there. Anybody who wants to get in the instant chat so that you can instantly get messages rather than email messages for different events. Let me turn on my fan because I don't know why, but I, I get, I get the, the heat wave come over me whenever it's time to do a video. Okay, so there's that. And as promised, I started the Inky Bestie Halloween and Christmas exchange. So in order to be a part of those, I need to communicate with you. You don't have to be in the group to join. Just send me a message that you want to get in there. Um, I'll send out an email the beginning of the month. I'm trying to figure out what I, I'm in an email limbo right now with my one company. I'm not renewing because I'm trying to look at this other one. Trying to hire a new IT guy. It's an absolute mess behind the scenes here. But I got my shipping fixed, which is a great thing. I worked very hard today on my shipping because Bob Ross is up and ready to go. I've got him here in two versions to show you. This is the this is my favorite. We don't make mistakes. We make happy little accidents. And then, of course, we've got Bob Ross on here with his little his fro and his beard, his little paintbrush and everything. So there's that one. Now I did, I showed you one, I wanted to show you one anyway, in black. Now what you do is you go to the website and you choose one of the four backgrounds. There's four pictures. They're all numbered 210 through 213, I think, or something like that. You pick the background you want and then you pick your little Bob Ross character. There's no other ones in there to pick. And then you pick the color of your frame. I put it together and I send it out to you. So those are up and the white one is going up. Oh, let's put them here. Because I got, I got it. Oh, oh geez. She scared me. My poor little cricket, dude. Oh, you poor little baby. You stay up there. Okay. I think cricket teamed with Fisher Price to make that right, because he didn't jump, break. Uh, yeah. I know. And this one's ready to go, too. So this one, I don't know what background it is, but you can look at it right there. So, and all of them say we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. So let me put this over here so it doesn't get any splatter or ink prints on it and that's that done okay my dear friend Cheryl Lee oh, what a sweetheart she is I got this gorgeous card and Cheryl Lee you're gonna have to tell me how you did this I'm still trying to figure it out it's like it's it's dimension like I can feel it you know what I mean and look at her little flowers and then I'll read you a little bit here it says you are an amazing friend. I cherish our friendship and I'm grateful to have you in my life. And then it says, buy me craft supplies and call me pretty. <laughs> and she said something like, um, I saw this stamp and thought of you and had to have it. So I guess the stamp, because this is a foil, right? So, I mean, either one is totally me. So I loved it. But it reminds me of this little sign I just got at the dollar store. It's okay if you don't like me. Not everyone has good taste. So I just put that right there for everybody to read. If you are tuning into the replay, I forgot to mention, you can skip forward five minutes because only the cool kids listen to all the jibber jabber and see all the stuff that I got. Um, Terry, hello. And Kimberly's here and Mary and Dana. Yeah, I tried to reply on my phone, but it won't go. 
I'm game for the Christmas swap. I will try to remember that. Okay, so I'm going to put my card up from Miss Cheryl Lee. I've got, I've got quite a few cards all around here from little Miss Cheryl Lee. Okay, so I got some things. Dollar store. I wanted to show you guys these. Let me take them out. They were all over last night when I was showing the Inky Besties. You should have seen my room this morning. These are them. They were in the section um, where you get all of... Whoa. What did I just do? Uh, where you get all your seasonal stuff. So they're just like sparkly little leaves. And I was like, oh, I like those. So I got them. So I wanted to share. So don't overlook the seasonal section in your local dollar stores because... They have these little things that people sprinkle on the table and stuff, you know. They make really good embellishments for us. And I put them in a zip bag because they just want to go everywhere. And they also had these here glitter ones. What was the general consensus? Do you guys, I'm going to show you some of my Timu stuff. And I was saying, do you guys want to see the, the non-crafty items I got? Because I have them sitting there. Or do you just want to see the crafty items? You want to see both or just the crafty ones? So these, there's a whole bunch of different glitter leaves there's more orange than anything unfortunately um todd would like that but anyhow i had to grab them because well you know um it's a habit and speaking of habits i'm going to pull up my phone because i posted recently on instagram and facebook let me just open my instagram i think that was where i got the most responses or maybe it was no here so I posted, what's one habit you wish you could break? Share in the comments below. So, um, <laughs> oh my God, the list is so long. FOMO, second guessing, moving on to another crafty project while others still aren't finished. I could still go on. Kimberly Greet, stop stressing over the things I can't control, which would lead to more time with family and friends and crafting. Miss Heather said that. Uh, a star, I don't know which one of you uh, is a star, but stop doubting herself or his self. Um, just do my best and know that will make no, and know that that will make more time to craft, have better quality family time and just more like make my life more enjoyable. Here's a good one. My heart and home YYC. So this is someone here in Calgary. Buying so many new craft supplies that I'm always having to reorganize my studio instead of actually crafting. We don't relate to that whatsoever. So we, I can go on and on. There's so many in here. So many of you guys have FOMO, buying things just because you don't want to miss out on other things, right? So speaking of not missing out, um, I got some more dyes on Timu. I got these spider webs and I got these little skeletons and I got... This little, I, I don't know. I guess I'm in a Halloween mood. I got a band-aid. So I don't know where I think I'm going to make all these Halloween cards. But I did get these really pretty um, Butterfly Nature Series Original Deco Stickers. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? I was like, ooh, those would be they're nice on. Yeah, they're all stickers. And they're, they're like clear. So... Yeah, they're trying, like they can, I don't want to rip this all apart, but anyway, I thought those were really pretty and they were only at two something or whatever. I got some more stencils, so let me put this here. I got this one, I got this one, because I love these, these non-perfect, look at the little, look at the little face there. It looks like a little face. Anyway, and some lines. Now. I'm excited about these. I'm excited to, to test these out and let you guys know. If these had come in, I would have pulled them out in the color with me that I'm going to talk about here in a second. But um, I got these 12 metallic pencil crayons. Well, they're metallic, so let's just let's just do this. Ooh. Hello. Well, hello, metallic pencil crayons. Hmm. I'll have to really test these out. They feel very creamy. So I'm excited about these metallic pencil crayons, which is really funny because I was going through some of my metallic golds and silvers and bronzes last night in the color with me um, for my doodle art. So I will definitely uh, let you guys know what I think of those. And then a couple other things before I talk about color with me. Oh, I got these new tweezers. Check these out. They're 
pink. Oh, the end just flew off, which I don't need the end anyway. Goodbye. So they're pink and gold sparkle. Look at pink and gold sparkle. And the end has this like, I don't know what that is, but I just thought they were pretty. I don't know. I don't really need them, but pink and pink and gold tweezers. I'm always going, where's my tweezers? So I'll just stick them right up there and then I have them. So remember this Dilutions set I bought that I showed you guys? I got this on clearance at the scrapbook store. Well, I was up there the other day taking in my class kits and I found another one. So listen to these ones. I'm pretty sure, oh, this one, by the way, I believe is not retired. This is called People Not a Fan. I'm pretty sure you don't know what you're talking about, but please continue. I do not have ducks or a row. I have squirrels and they're at a rave. A group of people is called a no thanks. People, not a fan. To-do list, not that. If I'd have known you were coming over, I'd have left the house. Oh, for the first time in her life, she was truly happy. Then she remembered she was drunk. I don't care that you don't care that I don't care. I'm not an early bird or a night owl. I'm from some permanently, I'm some form of permanently exhausted pension. Sorry if I look not, look, oh, words are hard. Sorry if I look interested. I'm not. So, I'm sorry we fought. I hate it when you're wrong. <laughs> so I thought that was super cute. I'm going to use some of those tonight in my cards. And I actually just picked this up too. This, I didn't get this with the influencer. I didn't get invited to this particular one or I would have taken it, but instead I bought it. So I'll be using that. Now the color with me, the class is up on the website and it is um, available at Scrap and Dippity as well. So if you're local, you can sign up up there and then you, you don't have to worry about getting it shipped to you because they have some kits on hand. So we're going to color this card and you get an exclusive My Inky Finger stencil in it. Everything to make the card, plus me, in live video, walking you through it step by step. I'm gonna color the whole entire thing in the class, and there's a replay for it as well, okay? And if you're an Inky Bestie, you get a discount. And if you were to order this now, it would pro it, 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 it may just make it to you in time for the class, okay? So Color With Me was last night for the Inky Besties, and I wanted to show you what we're doing. You get a copy of this doodle art when you sign up, and then we colored this, or we, I colored this, this part, and this part. So it took me two hours to color those. But you know what the nice thing is, is I walk you through the colors I use. Um, I try to give you alternate colors too if I'm using non-Prismacolor pencil crayons. So it's a good time. We just kind of sit and chat and, you know, develop relationships and get to know each other and yada, yada, yada. So uh, speaking of class, one last thing I want to show you. Did everybody want to see all my stuff, my team with stuff? They want to see both? Yes. I okay. Everybody said yes. Okay. Then I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. This here, I just want to give you a sneak peek at the class for next month. This will be a standalone card kit like this. You'll get a back, um, a mat instead of black mat. You'll get a purple mat. You'll get a stamped image here. You'll get um, a stencil and then everything to make the cards. Now there will be an add-on kit available through Scrap and Dippity. If you are in the US and you want the add-on kit with the card kit, let me know because I can reach out to the store and have them package it all up and send it direct and just pay them because you ordered it through my website. We'll figure it out. But what will happen is there'll be the stamp set and one of four items, whether it be the gems, the reinker, the dilutions, shimmer spray, or um, an ink pad. Okay, so that'll all be up. So I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at that. I'm going to be working on that. So what did I get for me? Well, it's really funny. I'll give you a quick peek. This is what I got. I Oh, I got this headband that I'm wearing that I think... Somebody's commented already and said they love it. Oh, well, I got it on Timu. But the thing is, is I think I'm going to have to make it um, smaller because it's kind of like... it. It'll be at the back of my head by the end of the night. But anyhow, I got two of these things because of my hair... I do this like skin stuff at night, you know, when you're washing all your face and everything. And these, I see all these girls on, you know, YouTube wearing these. And this is so soft. I got two of them 
The other one is right here. So this one is super soft too. I don't know why I got two. I guess maybe for when one's in the wash and this has got something on it. I don't know what that was. Anyway, so those, I got those super cute. And I got this little ring because it goes around where you push start in my Lexus. It says it's for Lexus anyway. So I was like, okay, I'll buy that. And then I got this thing and you have to look for this and just type in, hold on. That is the annoying sound. Type in razor holder and this blue stuff comes off and it's sticky on the back and you stick it on your bathroom wall and you can hang your razor because Todd's razor is always laying on the counter. So I got these pink little, you know, it's really funny. The scrapbook store, remember I showed you guys, they had a blue one of these. I think it was made by Ranger. It's these things that you get when you get a pedicure. Um, it's wrapped in here too. I ordered these because they were only two something. They're pink. I don't know what people use them for in card making, but I got two of them because I like to use them in the tub, right? And then this is genius. This is genius, genius, genius. I saw, I saw a girl, I watched this girl. She does um, um, best kitchen Amazon items or best Amazon items for your bathroom or whatever, right? And then I just go to Timu and look for them because <laughs> they're cheaper. But there's this one where she puts these things on her big appliances like KitchenAid or your, um, uh, What's that called? Your your air fryer or whatever. Things that sit on your counter, but or you unplug them and put them away. These things have a sticky and you put it on the back and you wrap your cord. Do you, you get it? Like you wrap your cord around it and then hook it through this part and then your cord stays all wrapped up on your appliance. I was like, hmm, genius. This, this is a nose hair trimmer. <laughs> Got it for a friend. <laughs> So that's what I got for me anyway from Timu. There you have it. My own personal little little thingies. I bought my last Timu order. I got an eyebrow brush and a hair clip and a couple other things. I'll, I'll start saving the things I get for me to show you guys. But let's move on because I've got two cards for you tonight. I'm giving away one of the cards. So... You'll definitely want to stick around for that. And if you were here for the beginning. Hopefully you were paying attention. Hopefully you were paying attention. Because the answer to the question to win the card has already been revealed. <laughs> so a little brain teaser for you. But we have coming up. Arr, you want to speak like a pirate, do you? I know that's probably a terrible, terrible, terrible example, but National Talk Like a Pirate Day is on Tuesday and I was scrolling and I didn't realize I was in September. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I have my Tortuga Pirates, their little die cuts. I'm going to show you 50 pieces and I've never made a card with these for you guys. I had these at the scrapbook carnival. I made them for that. And this is what they look like. Um, this is more, I think, than what's in there because what happens is if I'm not happy with the cut, like sometimes when the, um, let me zoom in so I can show you. When my blade starts getting dull, it starts to get these little, okay, focus, 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 focus there. It gets these little hairs like right there, uh, like when you take the paper out and I don't like that. So I say, nope, I'm not selling it like that. And I keep those ones because I don't mind snipping that little piece off, but quality control. I want all your pieces to be as professional as possible. Let me zoom in actually again so you can see these. So these here, like I said, there's probably more than 50 here. Well, maybe this is a full set because there's only two of each. So yeah, anyway, so there's a whole bunch of little pirates, there's a whole bunch of little birds, and then the birds, I did them in different sizes, the waves, I did them in different sizes, um, there's a couple big ships, a couple medium ships, lighthouse, and then all these really cool pirates, so, and they're so inexpensive, they're only $3.99, so uh, there you go, there's some examples there, and then some ships, and some extra hats, and 
things. So I thought I'm going to make a card with this. Um, the make and take at the scrapbook carnival, Brenda and a few other people, I can't remember everybody's names, did the make and take with me there. They were the springtime gnomes. I don't have any but two sets on my website. So all the other sets are not there. So I'm going to work with those tonight. But before I do that, I want to make a card with the, um, this one, the vintage, uh, what do I call this? Hello retro. So it's got the girl, all these like retro stuff in there. I just love this one. And this one has 50 pieces. This is way more than the 50 pieces, but I want to show you what I did. So I took the pieces and I made some smaller than the other. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Some smaller than the other. So you'll get 50 all like 25 one size and then 25 maybe like altered. So like the TV here, you get a big one and a little one, the car. I, I mean, I'm not going to say each and every one has a big one and a little one, but I know the ice cream does. There's the camera that has a big one and a little one, the, t the cassette tape. So probably all of them, but I, I made them so long ago, I don't remember. But these were all uh, ones that didn't make it to the production to be sold for one reason or another. So I am going to work with these and I'm going to work with the big girl. Is that that one? Yep. Yeah. And a little ice cream and a car. So that's what I'm going to use. And these here, I should show you this. So you can look for these on Timu because this is another one of my Timu finds. I have these little drawers and they fit in this little container right here. And if you just put one, two, three, four, five, six, nine drawer, nine drawer, little container, nine drawer, plastic, white container, whatever on Timu, I'm sure it'll come up. They're super cheap. You don't expect anything like fancy schmancy. I also buy these and I put all my wax in them. So if you're a bestie, you've already seen those. But that's what I use these for. Um, and I do plan on putting one of all of my sets in there because I should use them more because they're so cute. So if you're a retro lover, you're going to love this card. Now, I'm going to use, obviously, my brush stroke stencils. Let me zoom out while I'm doing this. My brush stroke stencils. And the reason I like this is because... If you struggle with getting those perfect brush strokes, you can blend them now. And I include all of the, the negative pieces in here. So all the pieces that came out when it was cut are in there. And I see there's a little Wilbur in there too. So that's what you get with those. A lot of you guys already have them because I know that when I launched them, the sales were crazy on it. So you might already have them. I'm gonna do this one because it's my favorite. And all I do, is I just kind of line it up like that so I know I'm in the center and get my magnets on here. And I'm just going to blend a background on this one and show you how easy it is to put this card together. Oh, did I show you guys? I ordered some magnets on Timu. <laughs> this is why you should read the, the, the description. I thought I was ordering these magnets. So it was a pack of 10, so I ordered them. And these are what came. <laughs> That's what came. I was like, no. So I think if I tape a bunch together, it might sort of do what I want it to do. That's why you got to read the, 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 the descriptions because I didn't read the description. Okay, so I'm going to use all of this is down in the... Um, down in the basement there next to go all the way down the stairs around the corner next to the pickles you'll see the whole list of everything i'm using wilted violet cracked pistachio and peacock feathers and all of the i've got some sprays i'm going to do a distressy type shimmer background with some of the new micas and yeah so um i'm going to start with the purple so i'm going to do purple first and now i shall zoom in there we go. And you know what? If you are not good with blending, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. This will work out so easy for you. So go in with a light hand. Don't press too, 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 too hard. Okay, just go in with a light hand. And when you get a nice dark, dark uh, amount of ink down here and this light amount right here, 
just stop. Grab your next brush. I forgot to link these with the rest of everything today, but that's okay. They're in my kit.co if you want these because they're a lot less expensive than a lot of the competitor ones, right? Which the kit.co is linked there too for you guys. Okay, so same thing. I'm just I'm just applying an even amount of pressure. Um, I don't need to push really hard to get that ink because if I push really hard, I'm going to have harsh lines here. So if I just go softly and then I can kind of go a little bit over top of the purple, which is going to kind of create a little bit of a blue color, which is fine. Now my purple, I'm just going to go back over top of that where I blended it and then bring this one back in and go back over top of it one more time <clears throat> with a nice light gentle hand okay now we'll go in with our pistachio and I'll start at the top and work my way down because I want that light bit to be the one that kind of blends in there with the peacock feathers oh I'll tell you if, if only this burned calories because my arm is tired already <laughs> if only this was like counted towards calorie burning like it hurts. Like I got to rest my elbow on the table already. And I'll tell you, there's sometimes when I blend these like big backgrounds, I'm like, I have to take a break. Okay. Really light, neat, lightly now going all around the middle just to blend that line in there again. And then one last one. And I like that. So close all of these up. Put all these away so you see how easy that was now watch the reveal this is pretty this one's my favorite out of that whole set look at that look at that will you look at that oh, they are very pretty colors it's a really nice combination and it matches all of this stuff i mean look at this tv right here hold on look at that tv it matches it perfectly with the purples in there and the teals and I mean I, I I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen it just happened that way that it was a perfect match so anyhow I'm going to use a stamp from this one I will never be a well-behaved woman because she looks a little you know Retro sassy. Sassy pants. Absolutely. All right, so let's take that out. Put this away. Move you guys to the side. And we shall take out the um, foam here, okay, because you've got a rubber stamp. <laughs> I want to see a thumbs up for everybody who has ever put in their rubber stamp and forgot to take the foam out of their stamping positioner and then it's like this big huge sandwich i do it all the time by the way you are not alone you are not alone all right so this is how i'm going to do this i'm going to put this one in the corner lined up and i'm going to sit her right about here and i'm going to put my ice cream yeah kind of like that so this is gonna go right about there I think it's gonna be good right about there okay depending on how you position it or whatnot all right so I'll pick that up and then I'm gonna use my laminated graph paper you can use a piece of acetate here I just laminated graph paper because when I'm trying to line up something straight, like you know, little words and stuff, I need those lines. But for all intents and purposes right now, a piece of a piece of acetate will work just fine. So I'm first gonna use my memento because I don't need the Versa fine yet. And I'm just gonna lightly stamp that and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see if that's kind of where I want it. And that's pretty that's pretty much where I want it. So I know I'm good now. So I'll take this out and I'll wipe this off with a baby wipe. And again, use um, just your regular memento there because it'll wipe off no problem with your baby wipe. So we'll put that to the side. And now I don't need to clean this. I'm just going to come in with my VersaFine and I'm going to put one magnet right there. So I'm going to come in with the VersaFine and we're going to stamp that right there. Perfect. Now, we want to move this 
Um, if you like to heat set it, then by all means, you can heat set at that point. I'm going to put it up there out of the way. And I'm going to clean this up really quick with uh, whatever I can find here. Grab first this one. Oh, I want my stays on cleaner, actually. This one. I'll zoom out really quick, too. There we go. Okay. So I like to use stays on cleaner when I use Versafine. And um, I actually had people get up with me about, oh my God, that ruins your stamps. And, blah, blah, blah. and you know what? There's a big write up about it actually at scrapbook.com. <laughs> it does not hurt your stamps. It does not dry them out. It doesn't ruin them. You don't have to clean them afterward, yada, yada. So never be afraid to use stays on cleaner to get those inks that want to stays on, <laughs> get them off. You know what I mean? So don't worry about that. And I actually linked the, um, the write up about it in the description uh, or f pinned comment, I believe of the video, how to clean your stamps. So don't worry about using stays on cleaner. It is safe. Okay. So that we are now done with because the other one is a embossed one and I pre embossed it for you guys because it takes me three hours to get all the hitchhikers off of the black paper. All right, this girl is going to get some dimensionals. I just ordered, um, I got a big post going up tomorrow about the uh, advent calendar. So I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff for the sale with Spellbinders. I was going through it and I'm like, I'm an influencer and I get so much stuff, but there was so much stuff that I didn't have. And, you know, it allowed me to pick up some little maybe gifts and, you know, things, right? Things, things, things. So I got some things. So don't miss out on that sale. Good grief. It's got, they've got some really incredible deals. Ow. Oh, my gold and pink glitter thing poked me. Maybe I should have kept the little thing on it because those are very pokey tips on there. Tweezers. My gold and pink glitter tweezers. Forgot what they were called for a second. All right. So there's her and this one and this one done. I'll put those all to the side. And now we're going to do a distressed mica background. I've already done one, so this should be pretty easy. And this one I don't need anymore. I trimmed this really small to fit in my DIY sleeves and it's super tight. All right. So we are going to make a background. I am going to use my Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper because I just find that it kind of holds up a little bit better when I'm doing distressy type things. So uh, if you have followed me for any length of time or taken any of my watercolor or distress classes, you probably already have it. So you're one step ahead of the game. So I'm going to bring in my big box here and I'm going to try to do this so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to flip that one over there. This will work. Okay. So I'm going to get out, tell you what I'm working with here. <clears throat> if, if you are a collector of the Tim Holtz Distress Micas, you're going to have all of these. If you're not a collector, then you're not going to have any of these. But don't stress because you can pick them up and you can also have a look um, if you if you don't want those ones or you can't get them or you don't like their price or whatever the case may be have a look at the um, dilutions as well okay I didn't link these but I've never used the dilutions and I sprayed it last night when I was showing the inky besties I sprayed it right here and look at the shimmer in there like holy Moses this green is not like the green in the Halloween one, the Tim Holtz one. It's more limey. It's got more yellow in it. But I was like, I don't know who these are made by. It's D-Y, Diane, Diane, somebody. Is that Ranger that's on the side of that? This is Ranger. Yeah, Dilutions yeah. is Ranger. So, um, yeah, anyway, have a look at them. If, if you didn't get last year's Halloween or last year's Christmas, 
um, have a look at the colors and then look at the dilutions because I'm going to start buying them because the dilutions singly for me in Canada work out cheaper buying them one at a time than buying three in a set for $20. So anyway, I really like the dilutions so far. So with that being said, oh, don't you go anywhere. You guys all just stay right up there. Behave. Don't make me put you in the corner. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my water and I'm going to spray the back of my paper and then I'm going to come in with the, this was in the Christmas one last year, shiny bauble. So if you didn't get the Christmas set last year, you won't have shiny bauble, but that's the one I'm going to use here and I'm going to spray that top corner right there. And then I'm going to come in with Yuletide, which is in the Christmas one for this year. And I know I don't do this. My anxiety does not allow me to sit here and shake these like this. <laughs> I just can't. I'm like, let's get this show on the road. I have anxiety issues. I can't. And I know that all the stuff goes up the thing and then the thing and around here and into the, I don't care. So. If you don't care, then great, because I don't care either. There, so that looks good. And then I'm gonna use Tart Cranberry, which was in, see, I got it all inside of here. But if you have the rice paper, then you could be cleaning these out with your rice paper and using your rice paper for die cutting, all kinds of fun things. So maybe one day I'll take them all down and I'll clean them all out with my rice paper and we'll die cut things. And then I'm gonna do this one in the bottom corner. All right, then. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it with water so it's nice and wet. And then I'm gonna flip it upside down. Uh, I don't want the blue and the red like that. And look at that. That's about good. That's about good. I like it. So I got my little paper towel and I'm just gonna come in and pick up some of that purple there. Pick up some of this red, about that much. Leave that, and I'm gonna do a little bit more blue here because I like the blue. And I'll flip it over and just kind of press it down. There we go, that's it, that's all I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I'll show you one that's already dry and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. This is going Chris too, going too fast. I, you know, I showed you guys how to, um, make the, the, um, I did a video, didn't I? DIY distress, which video, well, I know that anyway, there's a multitude of ways you can use your, your heat protectant spray, not hairspray. Do not put hairspray in these. They clog the things up. Use your heat protectant spray. Use mica, okay, and uh, re-inker drops, all right, to create your colors. There's a DIY right there. Another thing you can do is you can pull out your that thing. iridescent medium, okay? This is a uh, Royal and, uh, no, this one is Windsor and Newton. Windsor and Newton, and it's like this. So this is what it looks like. It's like this white mica. You can use this, um, add some heat protectant spray to it, add some, you know, of your dye, your reinkers. okay? Uh, you could even, if you have the distress stain, use distress stain, right? Use the, and, and then don't use any heat protectant spray. Use distress stain, get some little bottles. I have little spray bottles linked in my kit.co under supplies or whatnot, ones that I use and like, and then add some um, mica to it, right? Some Pearl X or, you know, I have a link down in my kit.co as well for the um, resin art because mica is big in resin art just to, to color resin and whatnot. And it's much cheaper in the resin area of art than it is in the card making area of art. Like when I look at what, what, the, 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 the Arteza prices are, it's like, 
whoa, Arteza, reach out to me and send them to me and maybe I'll find value in them so that everybody else will want to buy them. But I buy the resin art, the, the re let's, let's resin, that's it. And I have the ones that I personally use linked. So use those and try to use, like if you're not using iridescent medium and then adding dye to this, you're adding it especially to your distress inks because those bottles are big. You can do other little bottles or little spritzers with little concoctions try and do a mica that is similar to the color of your distress stain okay do you get what i mean so just experiment with it you know what i mean now if this is something inky besties if this is something you want to see me show you in our i'll try it out for inky besties for october then go to the group and it says i'll try it out october ideas and type in there uh, DIY distress mica stain and I'll do it in there for you guys okay so hello Kim all right so with that soapbox we'll get off of there that was that was great because I needed to I needed to waste a couple a couple minutes so let me wipe because I'm like I can't believe I'm like almost done these two cards so a couple things here I went and this is the the version of it dry okay now, what I want you to be aware of is, what can I show you with? I want you to be aware. This is gonna happen on a DIY or the Tim Holtz one, doesn't matter, okay? There's your mica, all right? If you want to seal this, you are going to need one of two products. This is the one I recommend. It's um, made by Jacquard, the same company that makes the alcohol inks that I tell you guys about. Dorland's Wax Medium. This one is only $16.25. That's Canadian, by the way. So it's like $5 American. I know I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. And this one here is, um, it's a big one, four ounces. Or yeah, four fluid ounces. So when you compare this to the Tim Holtz Ranger version, this is a better price and it's the exact same thing. I have tested this and I'll show you how much of it I've used. Look at it. It's way down there. I use it all the time. It's still as creamy as it was the day I bought it. So pick this up. It's also linked in my uh, kit.co. So you can get it at, um, what's the name of it? Blick. Okay. So take this and take a sponge. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But you could take one of these, put it in here and just rub it all over well i could do it i suppose i mean i have time so let's get a new take, it doesn't take any time to dry it's just a no wax. absolutely absolutely and you know let me i'm going to talk about it a little bit here hold on where's my refills i need to find the refill tops for those those domes i have like three boxes of them i bought i bought like a whack of them from scrapbook.com I just gotta find them so I can get a new one. Uh, okay, I guess I have to open a new one. I have like three of these and I can't find any open ones. So I'll just open this one. So what I did, and this is this is one of the things about being an inky bestie, is when we hang out, this is this is all the stuff they get, okay? So Chloe, I asked him to make sure. Did that just rip off the back of this one? Scrapbook.com. Hello, it did. Look at that. And I've only used this one one time. Oh, this is sticky. Okay, so I can stick it back on, I guess. Look at that. It just stayed on here when I pulled it off. Well, there's that. Um, anyway, this is one of the perks about being an inky bestie is we do all these fun things. And I went one night and I've taken these and I've mixed them with mica and put them on different color cardstocks with different embossing folders. Oh my God, it is stunning. I did a tintile one with this stuff, OMG, with a, it was absolutely gorgeous. So I use this too, if you've ever ordered from me um, and you look at your, if I personalize your label, like if I print a label myself, I always put this over it so that if it gets wet, the mail makes it to you. So I'm going to try to be very 
um, particular about the area I do and not kind of mix it into the next area. And I'm also going to get out a little scoop because you don't want to put this back in there. So I'll just get out this and just kind of rub it on there. And then I'll do the red area. You can do this over top of your watercolor paints too, your watercolor painting projects, just to protect those. And like I said, you can put it over top of where you address your envelopes. Um, make sure you don't put it over top of the stamp because if you put it over the top of the stamp, they can't cancel the stamp and they'll return whatever it is you've tried to send to you. So make sure you don't do that. Okay. So look at all that color though. So yeah, you don't want, you don't want people's fingers getting all over that because this is the mica, right? So, and because I only used mica on this. That's why there's so much coming off. There's no other products on here. So be, you know, careful when you're, uh, this here is Strathmore. So it, it, um, 3d embossing folder. I'm going to show you which one I used, but it holds up excellent. Like it doesn't tear. I didn't wet it or anything like that. God, my ring is getting loose, but you think it's because I'm losing weight or something. And that is certainly not happening. All right. I used, oh here, let's go over the top of it this way. Nothing. Okay. So that was without it and that's with it. No color is going to come up. That's was already there. So the embossing folder I used is, um, link down below. I can't remember the name of it. I'm going to warn you, this has been discontinued. Um, it is not on Rangers website. They do not carry it anymore, which indicates it's discontinued. So if you like it, they're, they have them at scrapbook.com and um, Simon Says Stamp. So I linked both of those for you down below. They do have this one, but it's been discontinued. I'm pretty sure. So just pointing that out for you. So here, now we've done that. And well, that was kind of a cool little quickie tutorial. I'm glad that... Uh, we was asking a question if she can use Aquanet. Is it heat protectant spray? As no, long as it's Aquanet ever made heat spray. That was pretty harsh hairspray. I mean Aquanet. What year? Lee, you are such a little hoarder. Oh my gosh. What year what did you buy that? <laughs> okay, I gotta measure this. I gotta trim to my card front. Um, I link the one that I use in my kit.co. I think it's under Inky Concoctions, and I love it. Um, I get it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. Got to, got to be, I've never had a problem with it. Guardian Angel. Um, the only problem I had was at one point it was sold out. So it was like $30 a bottle or something. And I was like, yeah, whatever. So when they got it back in stock, I bought like six bottles. I wasn't dealing with that again. So I'm going to mat this. So I'm going to cut it at four by five and a quarter quarter and I want to keep all this blue area so I'm cutting off the rest so there is my card front and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take I was going to give you a nasty look but I see you already have one <laughs> I thought that looks like a piratey type saying because you know you don't have to do everything a hoi matey pirate style so here's what I stamped and I embossed it in white. Okay. And I cut it all out like this. And I'm going to show you how I did this because I need another one anyway to finish that other card when it dries. So I'm going to show you how I did that. All right. So it's cutting time. So I just went along the white and I'm not going perfect. If a little bit of black shows, oh, so be it. And I don't want to hear all my little whiners. Oh, I don't like, this isn't fussy cutting. This is cutting directly along the lines. So there's no, there's no, oh, I have to make sure I have the same amount on the outside all the way around. There's none of that. You just, you cut it out and you're, and you're good to go. So you're just going to cut out the whole outside first. And I really do like these Simon Says snips. I never link them. I should, 
Like, I love these. But they won't cut ribbon. So, or things like that. What was it I tried to cut the other day? And I was like, oh. Twine or something? What was I trying to, what was that? Or twine or something like I that? I remember, I was trying to, I had something, and I was like, yeah, these don't work for that. But they're excellent for paper. I love, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite paper cutting scissors. So, and I love that when I go around the corner, like when I go, I'll show you what I mean. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Okay. When I go like this and I go to turn here, it actually cuts as it turns. It doesn't tear my paper. So that makes me very, very happy. I like that. So it's almost like the people who wanted good paper cutting scissors actually tested them before they put them in their store for sale. So these, I really, really like them. And I got them in a card kit, so that was even better. I was very fortunate. So there, now I've got it cut all the way around, okay? So I'll zoom in again for you. All I'm gonna do here is, you, there's kind of like two lines or three lines on each one, you know, and like especially on this one. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of go down the middle and I'm just gonna cut it and then I'm gonna make sure that I straighten it off. There we go. Take that little piece off of there, okay. We'll turn it over and do this piece straight to the end. Make sure that it looks good. I'll just snip a little bit of that off. So it's super easy. So, I mean, I love these stamps. They're rubber. And the lines aren't straight, so it's Exactly. It's perfect. It's if you don't like, if you can't cut a straight line, then these are the stamps for you. <laughs> They'll be perfect. All right, wrong one. Oh, Scary Hairy Lady. There's a YouTube girl called Scary Hair Lady. She has some good videos. I was going to give you a nasty look, but I see you already have one. Okay, so this will be for my card that's drying. This will be for this card. So what I want to do is grab my little dudes here. Bum, bum, bum. And I'm going to use this guy because he's kind of like, I was going to give you a nasty look, but I can see. You already have one. I was going to use this one or the other one I was kind of going back and forth on. I couldn't decide. And then I finally decided on him was, where is that creepy one? He's got like a fish face of some kind. This one, the octopus face. Almost went with this one. Maybe I should switch it back to this it's one. It's like the Kraken. I know, right? But it just, I'll play with it. I don't know which one I want. I can't decide. Oh, and where's my wave? Did I lose my wave? Oh no, I lost my wave. Okay, I'm gonna find a little wave because I have so many different sizes of waves. There's a little one. Oh, I pulled it out to cut it. That's what I did and I probably threw it back in here because I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, anyway, okay. So I've got this, the wave. I know what I'm doing with that. Let's move this over. We'll just kind of stand him a little bit like, see if this works. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? And then this, where did I have this? I don't remember. I don't remember where I had that. I should have taken a dang picture. Let me put my sentiment on here. Okay, let's see. I was going to give you a nasty look. I like it when you stagger these and I love that they're not straight because we got a distress background we've got pirate going on we got there we go okay so let's bring you guys down and then our little treasure maybe I'll skip the treasure or maybe we'll put the treasure here with this hmm tuck him in here I think that's too much Oh, I wish I remember what I did. I wanted to put this little wave up here. I knew that. It's got some wax on it. There we go. Hmm. Okay, let's put this here. No, let's put the bird there. 
and we'll get rid of that and we'll put this here or maybe we'll get rid of both and we'll just put this here that's what we'll do we'll get rid of all of those all right there we go so these I'll probably glue flat down or maybe I'll do down up down up I wonder how that'll look let's see let's get some little black dimensionals out do you know what I mean like kind of stagger them a little bit so that add a little bit of visual interest here okay we're gonna need this and if you have I didn't even link them silly girl if you have the Wilbur embellishments I'm gonna use those tonight the summer mix didn't even think to link them silly me so let's see if I like that oh yeah yeah that'll be perfect just these two though not all of them and as you can see I embossed the back I embossed two on one sheet and one I don't know what I did, but I guess I didn't put enough de-statification stuff there because, see what I just did? I stuck it directly on top of the other one because I had, oh, it was awful. I had to flip it over and do it again. But nobody will know except you guys, right? So this one, okay, and this guy. We'll put a few on you, but you don't need these little bitty ones. You need bigger ones. So let's go with... Uh, Timu ones, my little bitty Timu ones. All right, yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so this, we'll just leave that there for now. We'll do our sentiment first. Kind of get it lined up where you want it. I was going to give you a nasty look but I see <laughs> you already have one who could you send this to with that saying on there <laughs> I'm reading Chris's comment why do pirates have patches yeah I like that that's kind of cool I like it just like that all right so let's start gluing this stuff on I'm going to use my pick and poke to pull that off because the strengthy little wax thingy there is perfect. Have I got any new viewers from um, the Scrapendipity video on two, Monday? Was that Monday? It's because I know a few of you guys was chatting with me. Just wondering if anybody popped in. Say hi. No, we did have Melly from Italy. Oh, I know Italy. She's joined us before. Yeah. Um, I think Sheila Coza. Barbara. She. I don't know what you're talking about, Barbara. But when you said my sister, oh my gosh! All I can think about is that woman reading that book. Brenda's Beaver needs a haircut, and she's reading it, and she's Brenda's like. Beaver needs a barber. But needs a barber, that's it. And she goes, oh my God, because her sister's name is Brenda. And she's like, oh my God. And and I'll tell you, the girl reading it, we I played it in the Inky Bestie thing one night. The girl reading it makes the whole thing funny. And there are thousands of other people who then made YouTube videos reading this kid's book. And they're just not as funny. They're not as funny. This woman is clearly like, I picture her being a smoker, a heavy drinker, lives in a trailer park. Like, you know what I mean? Just by how she sounds and how she presents herself. And she is hilarious. I don't even know where she lives. Whatever. That really is irrelevant. But Yeah, I think Barbara was saying she could send this to her sister. Your, oh, my sister. Okay, your sister. I was going to give you a Got you, got you. And I know your name's not Brenda, by the way. But it just reminded me. It just took me right back to that. To that. Are there any of our inky besties in here that uh, was there when I played that? You were there, weren't you, Heather? Hello, Brenda. I don't know how you managed to miss all these videos. It's always on, well, we kind of, oh, did I spill dinner on myself? Good thing I have a little picture of me up here and nobody can see that I have something orange on my shirt. I just noticed it. I was going to say we're always on uh, Thursday, but we kind of got a little bit 
rearranged here. This um, cardstock is kind of wonky from embossing it. So I kind of have to hold the glue down a second. So, okay, Kimberly was there. It was so funny. Oh my gosh. Brenda's beaver needs a barber. But you gotta, you gotta, like, it's, I don't even think it's a YouTube video. I think you gotta Google it. And she's got some other video type thing on Google. But, like, she can't read it without peeing her pants. Like, I picture her sitting there with her legs crossed. And she must be beet red from laughing so much and she can't breathe. And she's like, I gotta get this book for, I gotta give this book to my sister. And the author has all kinds of books like that. Like, like, um, <laughs> something like, this is a family channel for crying out loud. Um, put Tony's nuts in your mouth, but Tony is the squirrel or something. And it's like, the whole, oh, oh, that's it. That's it something like that anyway and, and it's like oh my gosh they're just hilarious anyway these books but that particular one I had to play it one night for the Inky Besties it was in our real time stamping at the end of the month where we all just kind of do whatever we just hang out sometimes we're there for a couple hours sometimes we're sometimes we see the next day I know New Year's we were there till like two but we've got people from all over the world. So, you know, people are different time zones. And it's just such a such a great place. I just love my Inky Besties. I love you guys too. But it's nice to hear you speak to me. I don't have to sit here and fill. Like, I don't sit there and fill an entire two hours with just my voice. I hear everybody else's voice, which is awesome. Or not just voices in your head. And it's nice to see you, Kim. There's an Aussie guy who does shorts with all those books. Oh, he does shorts. That'd be cute. <laughs> you do, Brenda. You need, you need to put him like in a Google Calendar. Okay, so I like that I went down, up, down, up. It just kind of gave it a little bit of dimension there. So let's do that. We'll move this guy in a little closer. Get a little closer. I Following this new... Um, uh, Instagram account it's all about the 80s oh my gosh you guys it's all like he they play all remember the 80s stuff how do I find them let me see if I can find them really quick here while I let that glue get sticky because if you love the 80s you gotta you gotta follow these people on Instagram um, and Doug the Pug. You got to follow Doug the Pug. It's, he's he's freaking awesome. Every time I see him, he reminds me of my little gizmo. I hold this over here so you don't see all the, the fat lady ads like this. This is what I get on Instagram all the time. I'm like, yep, that's exactly what I would look like doing that. And then I go, I don't want to see this anymore. I see it too many times. And, I, and then I, they just send me different ones like that. I thought there was a spider on my screen. Oh, uh, come on. I'm not going to find it now that I'm looking for it. Uh, uh, oh, pretty card. I saw this earlier today. Look at her card. Just going to show you. Focus. There we go. Isn't that stunning? That is Jessica Frost Ballas. I don't see my 80s guy here. Can you go to the where you follow, like who you follow? Do you know how many people I follow? Well, maybe if I uh, follow, maybe it'll be like, oh gosh, I'll never find it. Oh, I might find it this way, I guess. Hmm. I wanted to share it with you guys. Because there's a lot of 80s ones, and this, this one is the best. It's a guy that does it, and I really like him. I don't see it. I'll, next time I see it this week, I'll, I'll, I'll screenshot it and then I'll share it with you guys next week. Okay. So that everybody can, everybody can see what it is. Cause I don't want to waste too much more time trying to find it. Okay. So we're going to stick this one here like so pull these off and I'm going to give away a card while I'm putting together the next card. 
there. That's, that's bloody awesome, that is. All right. And I have, look at this. I have cards already folded, ready to go tonight. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be fun to uh, try to, oh, I need to trim this just a little bit more. I just need to shave a little bit off of here. I don't know why. It doesn't seem very straight. Probably because of the embossing. That's better. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. And all you guys can all go away there. Okay. Glue. Let's kind of straighten this just a little. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. And I'm going to put a lot of glue here because of all the hills and valleys and ups and downs. And I don't have a problem squishing this if you like, like I do when it's in the bottle. If you have a problem squishing things, these little bottles are amazing and they're a dollar <laughs> as opposed to, I saw the price of the one in Canada. I was like, yeah, no, $55. I'm good. All righty. There we go. I know now. I heard somebody in the store today comment say, oh, I really like it because I can see where I'm applying the glue. And I'm like, what are you doing that you can't see where you're putting the glue? Right. That's what, I yeah. wasn't sure. I'm like, huh. but then I'm thinking like maybe it's because like the Tombow bottle or something, like the other bottles are maybe bigger. Yeah, then the Tombow is bigger, right? But then for this, I mean, you do it like yeah. I do it, don't you? You have this. Like yeah. Exactly where I'm that right. Well, I don't know. Anyway, there's that card. I just love it. And these are only they're only three ninety nine. You guys, like I I I don't charge a lot for them. Um, I just you know paper and ink and time and cutting and I should probably charge more. But that's my thing. I just I I I I can't. Like I was looking at some stencils because I took my stencils up to the scrapbook store and I'm looking at them and I'm like, you charge, some of them are between 10 and $15 for one stencil, for one. And I'm like, that's just robbery. Oh, robbery. For one. Dana was asking, she said, do you recall the stamp sets you were showing last Last night, last night was a color with me. Oh, this class, this one? For the, the class that you're doing in a couple weeks. This one. Oh, somebody's getting a sticky one. <laughs> Where's my baby wipe? Somebody's getting a sticky one. If you get a sticky one, then you know it was from tonight. Um, it's called, oh, Dana, I don't know where the stamp set is right now. Um, isn't it a picket fence? It's a uh, pink fresh, and I'm pink pretty fresh. sure it's the rainbow floral washi is the set that you were using. Now there's a dang card right there. Now, the summer Wilbur mix is on the website. Some of you guys have it, some don't. But in here is these perfect little blue, teal blue, little embellishments. And then I pulled out the Pink and Main December 2022 kit snow day. And this is just because they're, they're silver, but they reflect blue and purple, which I kind of liked. So um, we're gonna put you here. Sorry, while, while you do that, Dana said, sorry, it was the mushrooms. I thought it was the flower. Oh, okay. This one is called Dilusions. There's not mushroom in here. Huh? There's not mushroom in here. <laughs> really cute. And this is a gorgeous set. I love it. And I saw that spider web and I went, Halloween. So we're going to color these. And yes, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So that's the name of it, Miss Dana. Let's put one 
3D in here. Yeah, one there. Or maybe up on this one. Oopsie. I gotta find where the, there we go, where the glue is not on there. No, maybe back where it was. I mess around too much with embellishments. I can never decide. That's why I don't like the sticky ones. Like I use them, but I prefer, it's not that I don't like them. I prefer them to not be sticky because then I can move them around and play with them how I like. Maybe I'll do like that. That makes a difference right there. Or maybe this one, I'll do another reflective one. No, the other way around. We'll do that one. See what I mean? At least for the next one, I already know where I'm putting my embellishments. No, nope, I'm gonna go back with the blue. All right, all right, all right. Let's just stick with it. I'm not the only one. You guys do it too. Or you're not the only one. I do it too. Whichever, however you want to look at it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to move them up a tiny bit. Up a tiny bit. And I like the end of this pick and poke because it's not super pointy. It won't leave little marks on your little sequins. And then we'll just put little dots in each little plus. And then we have no issues. And if you use that micro tip bottle, you're golden. And you can use this to kind of, you know, move them around. And if this little thing comes out, the second batch was uh, reinforced here. But if yours wasn't and this little thing comes out, just put a little dab of uh, crazy glue in there. You can get crazy glue at the dollar store and it'll be fine. Because they're, they're, they're just a little metal piece that sits in there, right? So sometimes they might pop out, but especially if you drop it. And if you break your wax tip, you can generally heat it up with your heat gun and then stick the piece back on and kind of shape it all and then heat it all up, shape it all, you know, yada, yada. Okay, so there, there's one. I was going to give you a nasty look, but I can see you already have one. So let's put this one together. And I already have an extra one of these that I'm gonna to give to one of you guys because I'll never be a well-behaved woman and I put a car on the inside, but I'm going to leave it like this and I'll put a little posty note in it and I'll put a little saying in case you want to keep it. But if not, you want to give it away, then you can also give it away. You can write in it and use it to pass along if you like. But I have a question that if you were here in the beginning or even after the beginning, I threw out another I, th I threw it out there a second time, just in case you came a little bit, little bit late. But, oh, lifeline. Right? <laughs> I'm going to put the little shake there. Look at that. That is so perfect. I love it. And then for the inside, we're going to put our car because I like putting stuff on the inside of my cards. So there's that. And then we'll put a mat on her. Flipper, oh, careful, that's all dry, right? Yep, then I'll show you where I put my embellishments because I used the same embellishments because they all kind of matched on here. I don't have to go quite as thick here. I'll just do a little zigzag stitch this time. I always do it different. Sometimes I only do the corners, sometimes I do the whole thing. Sometimes I stick my fingernails in it. Ugh. Dot, dot, dash. Right? There we go. There we go. We'll put her on the card front. Pass one. Now, I'm going to ask a question, and Heather is going to type in the chat start. And after you see that word start, then you can answer. So you can type it if you if you think you know the answer already or whatever, but you can't hit send until you see Heather say start. So the question is, what color specifically are my new tweezers? I said it two times. <laughs> so two times. So I want to hear exactly the answer as to what I said they were. Twice, I said. 
my new blank, blank, blank tweezers. And if you guess it, Heather's already typed start. I have. So on the live, I, I'm going to say that Barbara, I think she just had a bit of a spelling mistake. It said golden oink. Yeah, the O and the P are right next to each other. So that, that I'm going to let it. I was looking for golden pink sparkle, but... Seeing as nobody said gold, pink and gold sparkle, I will give it to Brenda with, with gold and oink. <laughs> so Barbara, um, I uh, have to get a winner's form. I forgot to link a winner's form. So uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, when you see the new thumbnail appear for this video, Look in the description for the winner's form, okay? It'll just be in the top where all the little links are and stuff. And click that and fill it out and say, um, you're, you, the, the, just put well-behaved woman card. That's what you won. And then you'll fill out your address for me and I will mail it to you. So congratulations. But wait till tomorrow for the winner's form because I forgot to put the winner's form. So that's where my embellishments are going. So again, I'm going to move them all up a tiny bit. Well, he was really looking for a lifeline. She said orange. Orange. <laughs> she, that was a lucky guess because, you know, Todd's favorite color and all. Yeah, Lee had come in quite late, so she I don't even think she heard the second time. Right, and I did say it a second time when I said my pink and gold tweezers stab me exactly i threw it out there a second time so i thought that would be fun because i haven't given away a card in so long i used to give them away all the time but i didn't have any cards and now i figured you know what tonight this is such a cute card so yeah and you know what brenda i'm even gonna sweeten the deal and i'm gonna throw in these for you okay so i'm gonna throw those in with your card and your insert, I will put my key fingers sticker on it and I will send this to you. So um, just put well-behaved women card <clears throat> and die cuts. And for everybody else, the die cuts are on the website. They're only $3.99. You can get them with um, uh, over oversized mail shipping because they're paper, so it's a lot cheaper. If you are picking up a um, frame, the Bob Ross frame, I can toss them in there. It won't increase your shipping. It'll it'll increase your shipping because you're paying for a box shipping now, not letter mail. But I can put them in there for you. So if there's other things you want, load up because if you're getting a nice box with the um, Bob Ross frame, right? So there's that. But we're good. Look at that. We made it through. So. Um, thank you and hello to our new besties this week. I know that uh, everybody, I think that color with me is really kind of enticing people to come and join the besties for the coloring. And next week we're going to do um, mixed media. So that's going to be fun. And that's where this happens, where all of these experiments and all these extra things that we do and try, that's where that all happens. And we all talk to one another and someone will say, oh, why don't you try this on the gel plate? Or, oh, why don't you use that with this? You know what I mean? And we all just kind of, you know, I'm the guinea pig and we all just kind of interact that way. So it's a lot of fun. And then um, we've got the I'll try it out with the stamping foam at the end of the month, the last Wednesday of the month. And I'm going to, everybody wants to know if it really, really, truly is the way that people see it online. Well, we're going to find out. So with that being said. Allie, we learned that about you during the Fifty Shades night. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what they're talking about. Oh, Allie, you have to go watch 365. <laughs> 365 days. Oh, Allie, go to Netflix and find 365 days. Family channel. We can't talk about it. but And for all you other ladies that are like, what's that? 365 days. <laughs> on Netflix. That's all I'm going to say about that. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully I didn't disturb too many people. I hit the mute button quick enough. 
No, I think you're good. I think you're good. I think you're good. Okay, Allie's going to go check that out. Other people are going to go check it out too. And I want to hear about it next week. So um, with that being said, I'm going to say goodnight. And I think I'm going to go pop in the Inky Bestie space. Because I'm going to work on some stuff. So I'll visit with Inky Besties. So until I see you again...